Hi, this is Robert Estrin at livingpianos.com and virtuosheetmusic.com. The question today is, what's the most number of keys on a piano? Well, if you know a little bit about the history of the piano, the piano started with very few keys, just about five octaves, around 60 keys. Early harpsichords had different numbers of keys before the piano was even invented. Well, towards the end of the 19th century, 85 keys became pretty standard on pianos, and then by the end of the 1800s, it settled on 88 keys, and we all know and love the piano for its 88 keys. But do any pianos have more keys than that? Well, the answer is yes. Some Dusendorfers have a few extra keys. In fact, the Imperial Concert Grand Dusendorfer has 97 keys on it. So the extra keys, the colors are reversed. The black keys are white, the white keys are black, so that it's not confusing for pianists used to the typical 88 keys. Indeed, there are a few pieces out there that composers actually wrote those lower notes, but most of the time they're there just to add color for when you push down the sustain pedal, it actually allows those big fat bass strings to resonate sympathetically, adding to the richness of the tone. And if you're so daring, you can even add a low octave here and there. Well, is that the most number of keys of any piano? Well, no, not by a long shot. In fact, the Australian piano manufacturer, Stewart & Sons, has a piano with a whopping 102 keys. I have not had a chance to play this instrument, but I'm dying to try it out. They also have extra pedals. There's a lot of cool things about those pianos that really take pianos to the next level. So, great question. 88, not enough for you? Consider Busendorfer or Stewart & Sons. Thanks so much for joining me here at livingpianos.com and virtualsheetmusic.com, Robert Estrin.